it should be recording now. Let me just silence my phone. Sorry about that. That's unprofessional. All right. So we are now up to unit six. It has been a while if you were keeping up with the live videos. Sorry about that. And unit six starts introducing some pretty neat stuff. We're going to do a little review of some things we've seen in the past and see what this new feature, this new um, thing that we're learning about here, because I'm not actually sure, I don't know if this is default Python or if this is CMU's custom libraries that is making this happen. Either way, very useful, very cool. Um, like I said at the beginning of the series, Python's not the primary language that I know, so I'm kind of learning along with you guys a little bit. So here's what's up. Here's a program that we talked about from a uh, from back in unit three, right? I said this is 612, 611 also, but it's also kind of low key, 331. And let's see what we currently have so far. The idea is, uh, this is like a function. It was a, to practice seeing how function calls work and all that other stuff. And the idea is, oh, this, you know, we draw a nice little cat head over here. And the nice thing about functions is that all of this work all this work over here from lines two through 12, that creates that cat head over there. But then once I put them in functions and I use function calls, I get to just say, ah, I'm gonna draw a cat head at 100, uh, 300, and I'll make this one blue. And then all of a sudden, boom, I have two cat heads. That's the nice thing about functions. Since then, we had also talked about on mouse press. I'm sure if you're really this far in, this, in the uh, course, like this is all kind of easy to you. You're like, why am I going over this? Just bear with me for a second. So on mouse press, in my on mouse press function, I'm drawing the cat head, but instead of just putting in a 200, 200 or a 100, 300, I'm actually sending the draw cat head call, my mouse X and mouse Y coordinates, which is gonna make it so that every time I click, I'm making a cat, a new cat head, uh, using the location of my mouse. Because, you know, for, for this cat, the mouse X, mouse Y was 88 and 85. So when I do the on mouse press function, mouse X is 88, mouse Y is 88, uh, 85. Then I draw the cat head, sending it an 88 and an 85. So then I come over here, head X is actually holding on to 88, head Y is 85, and I do the whole work of, of drawing the cats there. If this is confusing to you, I've already spent more time in this video than I should have. You should definitely go back and check some older videos. Um, you know, I think I do an okay job explaining some of that stuff there. So this should be total review. Now we've also seen that I can create an object. Right now, these are just, I'm just creating, I mean, I don't wanna to get too pedantic. Yes, this circle, like the circle over here is an object, the regular polygon here is an object, but I'm not storing it anywhere. So we've seen that I can store some of my objects inside of variables. So I could say like O equals I'll say a circle at 200, 200, we'll make it 10, and that, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna make a, a basic little circle there, right? And then on mouse press, instead of drawing a new cat head, I can, so here, here's an issue, right? Every time I do on mouse press, there's our, oh, our circle here. Let me put the circle at uh, 300 just so you can see it, right? There's a little circle over there. The issue that we have right now is every time I draw the cat head, it does all of this work. It does all the work from line four all the way down to line 14 to make a new cat head, but it makes a new cat head every time. It's like I'm putting stickers on a page. What if I wanted to move it? Um, well, we've seen, we've seen getting to move things before by making an object, making a figure, storing it in a variable, and then manipulating that variable, right? So instead of drawing a whole new cat head, I can say, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna just move this circle around. So I'll say O dot center X, O dot center Y, sorry, equals uh, both the mouse X and the mouse Y. And now we have, you know, still my black cat, still my blue cat, those are still working. But now as I click, the, my circle, the dot moves around. What we're learning in, I guess maybe this next video, cause I'm trying to make my videos shorter, is how to put those two things together. So we know how to use functions to make complex things by just using a single line of code. We know how to use the on mouse press function and how to, you know, storing objects so that I can 
move an object around a screen. And we also know, like I had before, how to do function calls to complex things inside of the on mouse press or other functions to create stickers. But my goal now is to, instead of making stickers or instead of just having a single circle move every time I click and have it match my thing, is to create a group, and that'll be a key, variable, a key vocabulary word there, of, of objects together so that I can move them all as one big group, um, which is like pretty neat. Um, but my whole like preamble to this video is probably a video length in and of itself. So I'm going to pause it there. This is, I guess, motivation to be like, oh, wow, I want to be able to click and make one cat head follow me around in a little bit of an easier way. We could, we do technically have the skills without groups to do that using the same, um, you know, let me redo control Y. Yeah. Uh, we do technically have the skills doing stuff like this to do it, but it's going to be ugly code and it's going to be kind of more work than it's worth. So tune in for the next video to see how I can have a full cat head follow my mouse around as I click uh, instead of just a single circle.